Hey, Scott here with the Scotch Test Dummies. Due to positive COVID tests for both Bart and I, um, we are not able to get together and do any filming. Um, and I also lost my taste buds going on four weeks now. What I do have, though, is a video I shot uh, with a new channel on YouTube called Eric's Drink Whiskey. I'll put a link down below in the comments. I uh, hooked up with them uh, for a blind, what ended up being famous grouse tasting. So uh, stay tuned and watch an edited version. I'm going to shorten it down, just take some of the whiskey drinking notes for a full length version. Uh, I think it's about 40 minutes long. And that would include the whole conversation. Go over to Eric's Drink Whiskey YouTube channel. Uh, check out the whole video for yourself here. Like I say, this will be an edited version, cut down. A lot of the conversation probably cut out. So, uh, hopefully the taste buds return soon and Bart and I will be able to get together and do some more filming. But until then, enjoy this video. Thanks. Hey, nice to meet you guys. How you guys doing? Nice to meet you, Scott. Doing well. Now, um, so the, the thing that we were starting with this show, um, we didn't, we were trying to, start a show uh we're obviously we're trying to trying to find our own niche in the in the whiskey to yeah. community um we love y'all's niche y'all's niches y'all don't, don't do a lot of research with the stuff you just kind of wing it and and which is one thing we loved about it um the our our deal that we want to do is finding the uh hidden gems under 50 bucks yeah. uh type of deal and so we're with with bourbons and stuff we're not doing really anything over 50 60 bucks and, and nothing super hard to find like a white Blanton's or anything like that. Yeah. We're, 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 you know, we're, we're huge fans of Evan Williams, Bald and Bond and, you know, Wild Turkey 101. Like that, that's our, that's our jam. And so with, with scotches, we're, we're in the, you know, 50, 50 to $80 range as far as, uh, as far as using, a, a, finding a good scotch to drink. Um, but that's what we're doing with these is I know what these are. Uh, what, what these what these are, but I don't know our order. Uh, Eric's wife uh, switched them up, oh. uh, but they're all, but, but the hint I'll give you whenever we start is they're all the same uh, company. Okay, and they're, and they're all and they're all uh, they're all they're all affordable. That, that's uh, that's about all I'll say on it. But um, <laughs> all right, you want to dive into some whiskey? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so um, let's see. We got we got four. You got four, right? Yep, I did. A just A B C D. All right, all right. We'll we'll go we'll go in that uh in that uh order there. So we'll now be as brutally honest as you want to. I've got no bias and no stock in these companies. <laughs> <laughs> so if it tastes like shit, you tell me. <laughs> all right, we're on A. Oh, okay. Mm. I thought you sent me. Wait, you did say these were bourbons, right? Scotches. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, all, all, not a bourbon. All four are scotches. Okay. <laughs> that would have been a pretty damn yeah. good bourbon one. <laughs> yeah, I, that nose, I was like, that's not a bourbon. <laughs> um, malty, grassy. Yeah. If Well, uh, so are my, mine probably won't line up with yours then since your wife poured them. She had, she had the master list from what got poured what that you sent yes yeah, so our, ours ours do line up um but i don't know what they are i just wrote down i just wrote down uh, oh okay I, have, I do not have them memorized so whatever i wrote down okay. i haven't looked at it <laughs> since i wrote it so our, ours do line up multi grassy a little sour smells a little young yep um a little bit of like a floral that's kind of that sweet musty barley uh you kind of get on a new make uh yep yep honeysuckle yeah, a little bit of that creamy new barley smell. Yeah. That's um it's not bad. There's a little bit of sour. Remind yep. it does a, it's a little it tastes a little young. But I have learned though too that sometimes virgin oak will sometimes impart that that really kind of tangy yeah. new oak flavor as well. So it could be young, it could be virgin oak. I still don't think overall it's that old. Sometimes multi. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen if you've ever tried to age in a, uh, one of those little mini barrels, uh, that can, that can hit some of that, some of that little sour note. Yeah, that little yeah. twang. Yeah. Yeah. Is it finished? 
Oh, there's something there. I'm not. There. I, like can't, a, I can't. I can't quite like pick a, it up. I've got. I've got the. Sa- I got the sour barley. I got a little bit of the honeys, and I. I think it's. It's like it wants to think about being sherry finish. It's like it looked at a sherry bottle. <laughs> it's um yeah. <laughs> It's lower ABV. It is pretty sweet. Um, Vanilla. Uh, it does remind me of some Johnny Walkers that I've had uh, with that malt sour malty nuts yep. to it. Mm. That, there's 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 something on the finish there that I'm just I can't put it on. It's not off putting, but it, I mean it's, that, that it's definitely malty though. Something. And I'm just trying to think what I've had lately that's bringing that maltiness and just that little bit of that youth or that, that oak tannin, virgin oak to it. Are these, are these official? This is official bottlings. These are, are independent. It's not from an independent bottler. So, so this, this is, this is a, a well-known brand. Okay. A well-known name. It's just a bunch of variations of that brand. It is. It's very dry and oaky. Yeah, on the back end, uh, that, that might be, it's not really that tannicky, but I don't know if it's that dry is kind of what I'm getting. Overall, yeah, I, I think it's young. Um, it's not off pudding, uh, but I, I just think it's young. I think it's, uh, I think it's really sweet. Got, got a little bit of that sour funk with the barley. And then uh, yep. it's kind of, kind of like three notes with it. It's not really, it's not super in depth. No, but it's decent. It's not terrible. I've had worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to hit B? Yep. Right. Some of the same maltiness, a little bit okay. sweeter. Like a white raisin kind of kind of note. A little sweeter. Not quite the same twang as the I'm, first yeah, one. Yeah, I might get as much funk as the first one. A little bit different fruit where um, A was a little bit more like uh, vanilla, citrus, lemongrass. Yep. This one knows is a little bit. Um, darker, berry, the strawberries, blackberries. Yeah, a, a, a little bit of that, a little bit of that topping on a on a on a cheesecake, like a, a little fate, bit. Fake raspberry. Yeah, Rat, raspberry white chocolate cheesecake, one of my favorites. <laughs> That's about, about where I was. <laughs> More of a toasted barley than that funk. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, not as new. Similar, it is darker, um, and I would guess sherry, a little bit of a sherry finish or sherry influence. Mm-hmm. Dark, there's darker fruit sweetness to it. Is it uh, the finish? The finish is a little dry, but mid palate is mid palate's got that kind of kind of syrupy, syrupy red fruit syrupy, sweetness. Yeah. Grapey. A little bit of a toast, yeah, either toasted barrel, maybe even a light, light peat. Very faint smoke of some sort. Honeys, cinnamons. Yep, little uh, yeah. little Christmassy. Yeah, Just some Christmas spice. I like it better than A. Are we gonna like rank these blind as well? Like, I'll tell you that one's. I like that one better than A so yeah. far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll we'll rank which ones we like. We'll, we like the best because uh, I know our 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 palates are completely different. Uh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to see. Pick C. That's the answer, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> that still has a little bit darker nose to it, a little bit darker fruit sweet or uh, sweet fruits. It's kind of syrupy smelling. I'm getting a lot more toffee and caramel on this one. Lot, lot, yeah, almost a um, more toasted, yeah, dark darkness on the nose. A little more ethanol burn on it too. Yep. I, mean, yeah, I get I get a lot more of my typical bourbon notes with this one than I than the other ones. I get I get I get my caramels. I get toffee. Um, Almost like a, almost like a spice cake, uh, like a breaded spice, like a spice bread bread note. Here's and then the maltiness, maltiness still. Yep. Yeah, that malt reigns supreme on all of these. Yeah. I don't know if that's just uh, subliminal or actually there. <laughs> that one is probably the the richest of the three so far. Creamier. Nice fruit, sweetness. Oh, well, that's pleasant. That's a real yeah. thick bodied. Yeah. Probably really might nice. be a, might be a little bit older even than the other two. Right. And it's it's like a combination of the two flavors, but it's it's more mellow. 
Yeah. Yeah. Very smooth, very rounded. A lot of people get mad when you, if you use smooth as a descriptor. <laughs> yeah. I, I think smooth is a perfectly fine descriptor. That's, but that's, that's my wife. We tried to do a couple of tastings with her. She's like, smooth my ass. <laughs> Well, I went back to B just for a second there to see the difference, and there's really there's not that much difference between B and C. I think C might be like we just said, just a little bit more rounded, maybe a little bit more mellow. Yeah, there's a little bit of youth on on B that there's that is lost when you get to C. Both, yeah, both really, both really similar, pretty close. <laughs> All right, let's hit B. This one looks good. This is the, I think this was the first one Kendra poured because it's like half the glass full. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, well, man, there's a lot of malt on that as well. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the sour funk returns. A lot thicker. Just, I don't know if, it, I don't know if, I don't know if it's because it's uh, more in the glass, but just, it looks a lot more oilier than the other ones. They've all had a pretty solid body. The first one was a little thin. Malt and, malt and a hint of sherry. Uh, yeah. And that's about all I get. Yeah. And either either the ABV is a little higher on this one or it's got a little bit more just alcohol, ethanol type note to it. I think the other three have been pretty similar ABV wise. Maybe they all are, but yeah. that one's stinging the nostrils a little bit more. You get like that ice, that, that ice cream caramel drizzle. Drink. Yeah, there's some some little dark sugar to it too. That one seems wow. to be the richest. Wow, has, has the most flavor on the palate. It really hit the tongue. Mm. It gave me a little tingle. Hey, that's a that's a thick one too. Mm -hmm. That's my tasting note. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just went back to C. C is a little bit thinner, uh, not quite as much of the flavor punch. I think, maybe this is, I think this has some sort of finishing to it, but it's just it's heavy malt, heavy fruit. Some of the unless this is a cask strength of like one of the others, the C to me had more kind of more of that toasted barley flavor to it than this one. This is kind of back to some of that young. I think it. I think it's young, but not off-putting young. No, 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 no. I think it, no, I haven't hated any of these. It, this, this, uh, that, that, that caramel note I'm getting is like the caramel shell syrup. It's almost, it's almost too sweet. It's a syrup bomb. Yeah. No, I don't think so. That's pretty good. Um, I like it. Hmm. Now, I just went back and forth. I almost get these are so similar. It's almost like you've just given me the same whiskey, but at different, like you added water and brought them down in different <laughs> bottles. All right. Like this one's, this one's 50%, this one's 45, that one's 40, and that one's 35. All right, before, before I reveal, uh, yeah, before, before we give the mass reveal, give us your favorite, your least favorite, and would you buy any of them? Yeah, I think so. Um, I would just go in the in the order. I'm going D being my favorite as we've worked our way up. D, C, B, A, A being my least favorite. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're all they're all good. They're not bad. There's a lot more of the the, the maltiness and the, and the, what appears to be like that sour maltiness, more youth in A. But it seems like they got richer and uh, a little bit more on the palate with each one as we went up. If I was, I mean, if you, even if I had four bottles, the full sized bottles in front of me unmarked and you said, go pour one, I'm pouring more of B. Uh, my order is uh, very similar to yours. Um, C and B flop, but D is definitely my favorite. Uh, I don't think I would buy A, but I would definitely buy the other three. I would, same order. I, I like D the best. I would honestly drink more of C though. <laughs> D, D is D is D's a little too rich to be like that. C is D with ice in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. C D is a down. little rich to be like the the everyday after work pour, but would be a good Friday night sitting on the porch. But it is the best. Yep. All right. We're gonna hand them off now. Do the honors. Do, do you have a guess uh where these came from? 
Well, it, uh, I, I've, I've been biased because my initial impression was Johnny Walker with the first one, just the sour maltiness. Uh-huh. I've been trying to think, open up my mind and think outside of that what it could be. And I've just been drawing a blank since, since my first initial impression was Johnny Walker. All right, so A was the famous grouse bourbon cask. Okay. And I was almost thinking, I thought, these have got to be something I haven't had. If, if it's not Johnny Walker, it's something I haven't had, and right. the famous grouses are going to do it. So the second one, famous grouse ruby cask, the port finish. Huh, very nice. Okay. We were getting more berries and stuff on that one, so yeah. yeah. All right, number three was the famous grouse winter reserve. Never even seen that one. Interesting. So it is. Um, they they showcase it as a uh, as a sherry finish with distinct characteristics of grandma's sticky gingerbread cakes. Uh, D is my one of my my Scotch daily drinker, and uh, it is the naked grouse. Very interesting, and that one's uh. This is like, also sherry finished. Well, it's like forty or fifty dollars too, isn't it? Something like that. Thirty-seven our way. Mm-hmm. Matured exclusively in first fill cherry cherry barrels. Right, but but here here's the big difference with these three. And to answer your ABV question, it's only eighty six. Hmm. Yeah, but the big difference with these three is this is a blended malt. Okay. And the other three were blended scotch. Yep. So they got some green in there. Yeah. So this was you know primarily some some Macallan and Highland Park, and you know what oh, nice. Whatever else is in the other ones, but yeah, yeah. So no, no. This, yeah, I mean, this thing is just thick as hell. It's thick. <laughs> well, it's like yeah. that apple hour we had last night. Yeah, it's... yeah. But price wise, on those those three at the bottom, the, the first three were twenty two bucks a piece. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, and that naked grouse was thirty seven dollars. So you can get all of that for about a hundred bucks. Roughly. Yeah. All right. So that concludes the uh, blind famous grouse tasting. Again, that's Eric and Eric from Eric's Drink Whiskey YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below again. Be sure and check them out. Head over to their channel, uh, give them a look, and uh, check out the full-length version uh, of that video as well. It's uh, 40 minutes long. There's a lot more conversation that takes place, general uh, whiskey talking. But um, thanks for tuning in. And again, until next time, slaunch it, dummies. <laughs>